Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm here with a video for you today. Today I thought I would do the intimidating TBR pile tag. So I have a ton of unread books, probably close to 200. So I felt I should probably do this tag. I actually had closer to 250, but I just purged like 55 books from my collection that I had no interest in when I got my bookshelves. So that kind of helps me a little bit with my TBR pile. So the first question is, what book have you been unable to finish? The book that I've been unable to finish is uh, the Legend of Drizzt's Collector's Edition book three, which I believe is, it's made up of books seven through ten. So I've, I've made it 194 pages into this book, but I can't remember what's going on. So what I'm going to have to do is go back and read the other, the first two books, and then start rereading this one. Because I honestly have no idea what's going on anymore. It's been like eight or nine years since I've read this. So it's quite a long time. But my husband and I have both been reading these books. And I think we both kind of stalled. He, he got a little bit further than me in the series. But we both did stall out in it. And we just both need to get back into it. The second question is, what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? And that would be Graceling by Kristen Cashore. I've had this book since 2012. And I just haven't read it yet because I never have time, like I never get to it each month and it just keeps getting pushed and pushed away so hopefully I will get to read this one soon. I have it on my TBR for May so we'll see. My TBR for May is kind of a little bit weird so um, I might not get to read it. I might get to read it. I don't know yet. We'll see. The third question is, what book have you yet to read because it is a sequel? Well, that would be The Winner's Crime by Marie Rudkowski. Um, obviously, I've been meaning to read this one for the last few months. I just haven't got to it. Hopefully, I will get to this soon. <laughs> I really want to read this series. I really want to finish this series. I have the whole series to finish. I just haven't done it yet. So, I really want to read it. Question number four is, what book have you yet to read because it is brand new? And for me, that would be The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. I only got this book in April. This is one of the last books that I've bought, so I haven't read it yet. I want to read it as soon as possible, so hopefully I get to it sooner rather than later. And hopefully I enjoy it a lot because I have liked all of Rochelle Mead's books that I have read so far. Question number five is, what book have you yet to read because you read another book by the same author and didn't like it? For me, that would probably be Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I enjoy Stephen King, but then again, some of his books I don't enjoy. It's really hard uh, until I read them for me to know if I'm going to like them or not. So I'll enjoy one of his books. Like I really enjoy Cell. I really enjoy The Stand, but I didn't enjoy Bag of Bones at all. So it's really hit and miss for me with Stephen King. So I haven't read this one yet, but I have owned it for quite a while. I do want to read it. It's also quite large, so that's probably another reason that I haven't read it yet. But for me, it's just he's hit and miss, so I really have to be in the mood for one of his books to read it so that I will enjoy it. Question number six is, what book have you yet to read because you just haven't been in the mood for it? For me, that is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I am essentially a mood reader, so <laughs> I have to be in the mood for something to read it and enjoy it. So if I want to enjoy it, I want to wait until I'm in the mood for it, and I just haven't been in the mood for this book. I really want to read this book. I have thought about starting it quite a few times, I just never get to it. <laughs> so. Again, this is another one that I really want to read because, I mean, I did just do a purge and obviously anything that I've kept, I want to read. This book just is so pretty and it's got so much hype surrounding it, so I just really want to be in the mood for this genre. So question number seven is, which book have you not read because it is humongous? That is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I have read The Way of Kings. I read it last year and I just haven't read this one yet because it's so freaking huge. It's well over, like it's over a thousand pages. 
I'm just not willing to make the commitment at the moment. I'm also afraid that it's going to take forever for the third book to come out, so I want to read it closer to the release for that one so I'm not waiting as long when I love this one because I know I'm going to love it because I loved Way of Kings. But yeah, essentially it's because this book is huge and I just don't have the time to read it at the moment. Question number eight is which book haven't you read because it was a cover buy and it got poor reviews? A lot of my books are cover buys, I'll be honest. They, a lot of them are cover buys, but I don't really pay attention to reviews. I, I don't know why. I just don't really pay attention to them. Um, so the one I'm going to pick for this is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I haven't heard... Like, I have heard a few things about this book, and quite a bit of it has been negative. It's not really why I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to use it for this one. Because I don't have anything else that might fit into this question. But I do love the cover for this one. It's a, it's a huge reason why I bought this book, other than the fact that I have been really enjoying Rainbow Rowell's books. But I have heard a few bad thing so I kind of want to be in the mood for it as mood reader need to be in the mood for something in order to like it uh, as much as I'm going to like it. Question number nine is what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? For me that is probably The Fountainhead by Anne Rand. This is a classic. I'm not really... I fall asleep reading classics all the time. I don't know why but I just always fall asleep reading them. And this one is quite huge, so I'm a little afraid to read it because I don't want to, like, it's so long and it's little words, little little tiny words. I don't even know what it's about. It's just, I have this list of books that I've been reading that are supposedly the top 100 books of all time. I've been working on this list for, like, for the last four years and I bought this one to read because it's on the list. And I'm just really intimidated by it. I haven't really been working on the list too much lately, but I've been kind of trying to read books when I can. But this one's a classic. It's huge. I find classics intimidating because they make me fall asleep. And question number 10 is who do you tag? Um, I tag whoever wants to do this tag because I don't really know a whole lot of people who haven't done it yet. So if you're watching this and you haven't done this tag, you should do it. So yeah, those are a few of the books that are on my TBR that I find intimidating. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up uh, and let me know down below if you have read any of these and if I should bump any of them up on my TBR pile to read sooner. And I will see you guys later. Bye!